Well, I had a situation a few years ago that happened and I'm uh, just having a hard time getting back into it. Julie's been gone for five years now. Five years she's been gone. But it's about the guy who's standing next to you. And for fighting for this country, I lost that guy that was standing next to me. Two hours passed and, and, and she's not answering her phone. They, um, they took her out on a stretcher. <laughs> what could I have done differently? Even though you know it's coming, you're not prepared for her. How do you let someone go that you've carried with you for, for so long? And this is all transpiring in the course of an hour. Who can prepare you for this type of stuff, Phil? Friends tell me that it wasn't my fault, that I should move on. He was 13 when he died. Sorry, Harrison, you need another round. No reply. You know, I still love Wick at night. Playing that day over and over in my head. I still love her. <laughs> I would rather have her here. It's amazing when something like this happens. People are always like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to handle it or what am I going to do. But you find this inner strength. I miss my lover. I miss, I miss my friend.